Today I'm going to show you how to add an offset to your Agilent 33502A voltage amplifier. The amplifier is 50 volts peak to peak, but that's plus or minus 25 volts. There's certain applications where you may want something like 0 to 50 volts. You can do that with this amplifier since the output is floating. In order to add the desired offset, you'll need an external power supply. With zero offset, the 33502A is capable of outputting up to 25 volts peak. Now I've added a 25 volt offset with my power supply. I could have added up to 42 volts, but I liked a nice round number of 50 volts peak. The offset doesn't change the amplifier range. It's still 50 volts peak to peak. Instead of plus or minus 25 volts, I'm simply going zero to 50 volts now. Here's a rough diagram of how to correctly add the offset. Basically, you're adding the power supply in series with the negative terminal of the 33502A. As you can see, I have the positive terminal on the power supply going to the negative terminal of the 33502. Then I have the negative terminal of the power supply going directly to the negative terminal of the DUT. Then I have the positive terminal of the 33502 going to the positive terminal of the DUT. In this configuration, the power supply is set for 25 volts. This will cause the 33502 to float 25 volts above ground. To simplify this demonstration, I simply input a 5 volt DC signal into the amplifier, but the 33502A is capable of amplifying any signal up to 100 kilohertz.